Are you looking for easier ways to create blog outline for your content? In this video, I'm going to show you six unique ways to generate the blog outlines and how to use SEO Writing AI's new feature, Outline Editor. Konnichiwa, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Yosuke. In this video, I'm going to use six unique tools for generating blog outlines with same keyword. And you will learn how to effectively utilize these tools to generate blog outlines. And recently, SEO Writing AI introduced something called an Outline Editor. Basically, you can generate or import outlines created somewhere, and you can reorganize it. And based on the outline you specify, this tool can generate article. So it's kind of middle ground from one-click AI generator and a full content editor. For today, I'm going to start with the same keyword and use different tools and how to use it to generate outlines and import them into SEO Writing AI. So let's get started. So first keyword. I found this keyword, just particular topic for my experiment website. So are donuts fried or baked? So this has a volume of 200. It's this assumption. This is not real. Keyword difficulty is low. Right now, there is like a Quora and other sites, Reddit outranking. So maybe I can get it. And one of the, the lowest one is just the uh, domain rating 8. So maybe I can take the spot. I decided this as my keyword. And I use Surfer SEO, phrase, new on writer, and the writers then, and of course, ChatGPT. And one more thing is actually SEO writing AI. So start with Surfer SEO. So when you go to dashboard, go to content editor, and you enter the keyword you already decide and paste in here. And it's going to quickly show they're uh, based on their da data, there's some suggestion, right? So this keyword is difficulty is quite high and the volume is low, right? But it's good. It's 260 or well, hrefs at a 200. After that, uh, what you have to do is uh, choose the, the results for specific places. So within the US, you can specify like a states and city. And you can even set the settings for mobile, desktop, different results. And what you want to do is over here, the content credit one. Right now I have uh, one four, 14. And when I click this, I use one credit from here. I already done this. So this is the results. So I click this. And of course, this is empty. And the primary you need, this is content brief. So when you finish writing your content, you paste it here. And based on this, based on the contents you have, they give you a score. So on average, you need aim 58 or above. The top one is 75. So for, for today, it doesn't matter because we're not going to put anything here. Um, but it, they give you some data. For this particular keyword, you need to have 1,800 to 2,000 words. And heading is bet anywhere between 18 to 42. And a paragraph at least 47. And images 16 to 35. And for today, we need to go here, outline. So based on their analysis, they give you the title idea and the headings. So after they compile the data, right, they just give you no idea like this. And when you click this, for example, like this entire box, it fills the title and the contents too. But for today, we need only the headings, right? So in that case, on the title, choose this one, the H1. It pulls only H1. Well, we don't need H1 really because we don't need a title. And delete this and only headings section. The heading is the same way. So when you click this section, it copies over the heading, also paragraph two. But we need a heading only. So H2, same here, same H2. H2 and so forth. So by doing this, by the time you click all of this, 
you have decent outline to, to start with. And if you don't want to see these uh, extra text, you can just hit adjust and uh, turn off show paragraph so it doesn't show actual text, right? You can do this. So it's already based on the outline score 31. Of course, you know, they're, they're suggesting they based on this uh, analysis, so it's highly optimized. So if that makes sense for you, you should use this. You kind of have to decide based on their suggestion if this suggestion is relevant to what you are about to write, right? That's how Surfer SEO to organize content for you. Okay, next tool I use is Phrase.io. I, I love this tool. I've been using for so long. When you go dashboard, you go documents and you can create a new document. And if it's really new content, what you need to do is just type in keyword and the country, the language, and you can uh, choose the folder to save. You can organize this way as well, if you want to. And if you wanna optimize existing contents, it's a little bit off topic, but if you already have a blog topic, you can choose this and you can enter the URL. And uh, this application pulls the contents and give you the score. This is really cool. So you don't need to copy and paste. You don't need to do that. But its contents needs to be visible in Pabric. In today's case, we're gonna use new uh, content. I already did it. This is it. So, and when I click this, so the title is already uh, filled with the uh, keyword. And then of course, you can write here by using their AI model. What I'm gonna do is we need an outline, right? So we need a process. This is set as a phrase successfully process 17 search results and start outlining. Click this, then they give you two options. First, you can select headings from the search results or generating headings ideas with AI. You can do either way. If you have already have outline, you can based it your own as well. Uh, for today's purpose, we're gonna use this select heading from search results. So how they do is they give you the list of these sites. You can kind of scroll horizontally and you can pick and choose, right? Which one makes sense. So Surfer SEO is already compiled. They give you just one selection. It's not the choice really, right? It's already organized. But as phrase give you the choices. For example, like uh, this is rank number one, two, three, uh, four, right? The rank four doesn't have any really headings. So you kind of have to go with this. This one makes sense, the title. And the pros and cones and frying and baking cake donuts. That makes sense too. So when you click this, you can add it into here. So one heading is already added. It's like adding list in your to-do list. It's really easy. So from here, instead of fried and baked donuts, you can add that too. And the shape of the donuts and recipe. That's solid, right? And when you scroll, if any of these make sense, you can add it always. So I think this is it's just simple, right? Then save outline. You can click, we have four outlines. Well, based on, <laughs> Surfer, we need 18 to 42, but I don't want to put anything that doesn't make sense, so I just make it simple. So save outline. Okay, so this is how the phrase I/O organize the data. You can use these headings to your uh, writer and start generating content. Next up is new on writer. This is very popular uh, on-page content optimizer tool. I use it a lot too. How they do is based on the project you generate it and you can kind of organize keywords here. I already made this, so I just need to click this. The new writer loads the data. And now what do you need to focus on is over here too. So based on their analysis, right? Highest score or selected competitors is 70. You want to aim 70 and the top one is 31 and top 10 is 44. So if you wanna do 47 or above, you will have better chance. And the difference from Surfer, the title percent and the heading numbers, they don't give you that. 
So the only the counts they give you is the word count. Top 10 has 1500 words and uh, from top 10 to top 30 is 2300 words. So that's how they organize the data. And what you want to do is click this outline button. So competitors, smart headings, and this is a AI based suggestions. And uh, competitor is very similar to phrase. Basically, they give you the name and heading structure. Number two, three, four, so forth, right? It's very similar. So it's almost the same. So the difference between baking and you can put H2 to enter as H2. The reason why they give you like H1, 2, 3, 4, uh, if you want to change this, for example, this one was H1 on the competitor's site, but you don't need H1, you need the H2, you can just click it and uh, it paste it as H2. And the pros and cons, you can put H2 as a different section. Oops, I don't want to do this here. Make sure it's empty space and here, right? So you can do this and the shape of the donuts, you can do that too. And the recipe for baked donuts. And then from number five, nothing here. Number six, science. Science is the guide, I don't know uh, if I need that or not. Types of donuts, maybe that's it. So you can keep adding whichever makes sense. Then as you add, you will see the score goes up too. Already 13 because you have headings that relevant to your keyword. So terms, 8%, it contains 8% of the terms you should use. So it's a good start, right? So that's how you generate outlines in Neuron Writer. And the next one is Writer's Zen. The Writer's Zen is one of the, the coolest tools because they are really good at keyword clustering and um, putting the score, They're something called golden score. They have their own scoring system to give you opportunity for ranking. And they have contents building feature as well. So what you wanna do is from dashboard, go to content creator. And you need to create a project. I already made one with my keyword in it. So the keyword is here. They have whole thing like you can set the project status, for example. For example, right, project is in writing, right? You can organize this. Uh, you can invite your team and uh, let the, the team to um, generate the contents for you. So you can uh, put priority in it and who is the task assigned to it and writer and also the status. So if it's a draft, you can change it to draft and so forth. So the contents is load up, then outline to use. So this is how you start. The competitive analysis, they just give you top 10 results and the word account and when it's updated and the links and the titles. One of the, the, the coolest features here, it says on the Google results, only 30% is uh, articles. That means this Quora and Reddit doesn't count. The actual blog site or website, the, you know, the carry the contents is only 30%. This means good. So if you have like genetic sites like Quora, YouTube, or like Amazon, if you optimize your contents, you can, it's a higher chance to get the contents in. So general information is here. Word count, you might want to aim 2200 words. Heading is eight, paragraph eight, image is eight. It's different from Surfer, but their analysis is like this. So what you want to do is you need to create outline, right? So first click this, click one of the, the top competitor and it loads up outlines. So descriptions and their word count. So in a way, you can see more information per competitor in Writer Zen. And a quick description, you can see full view if you want to. You can actually see the contents. And here you can choose, say this is the good uh, heading. You can click this, right? Then it comes up over here. But notice 
it automatically convert into H2 because for well, H1 you don't need it because it's title and H1 has only once. And here H2, it's pretty much the same thing, fried versus content, uh, I mean the baked, right? Shape of the donut and more donuts, readers, interactions, we don't need this, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is it for this article. Let's click number two. Same thing, right? Same results from phrase and the new writer, but uh, the way you interact is different. So type of donut, maybe science of cooking, because it's you are comparing a fried and baked, right? So we skip cola and this one, homemade donuts. So homemade donuts baked better than fried. That's a good topic, nice subtopic, right? H2. Again, it was H1 for this blog uh, article, but for us, it's H2 automatically converted. That's great. So I think this is a good amount. So to start, well, we need the H8 headings. We have only six now. Um, this is just an example. So, so this is how you organize outlines and you can just copy and paste it. And chat GPT. So I already made, uh, let them create it, the outline, create a blog outline for keyword and uh, generate it. Then right off the bat, it's just introduction, historical background, donuts. It's not really optimized. It. Well, the prompt is not that great, but it's very genetic, right? So it's it's not based on the actual data. It's not analyzing it. It's just uh, from the web, right? This is okay, but uh, if you want to use ChatGPT, you need uh, uh, the feed, the prompt, the better. Otherwise, this is just the, the boring um, article. So that's chapter GPT. And the next is SEO writing AI. So if you go to dashboard, all you need to do is click this one click blog post and enter the keyword over here and generate the title. And when you go down, you can actually send set some settings for language. You can choose multiple languages. So even if your keyword is English, you can generate like a Spanish articles or Japanese articles, you name it. And you can choose tone of voice and a point of view, this is cool part too. So you can eat, you can set no, just generic, or you can set first person, so the writers is always I think, or my opinion, and use I as a, as a subject, right? The next target country, you can specify as well. Even if it, you use English, you can use different target. So it pulls different data. For example, the language is English, but if you aim to Philippine, because Philippine people use English as well, you can choose Philippine as well. I think there's option, right? Anyhow, in this case, just set English and the US. And you can set article size, medium, small, large. The medium is about 24 to 3600 words and H2 is 9 to 12, right? So this is the size you want to aim because based on our previous analysis from writers then phrase and the surfer we need about 2000 words in the next you need to choose model and optimum quality is this one the, the top one is gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 128k turbo uh, it's combination so this is the best value in a way but if you want to choose only gpt 4 128k turbo only you use seven times more word count on your account. So I use this, this is fine. And uh, detailed include, this one is also unique. And um, let's say if you generate the content and if you are a small business, then you always want to put phone number to contact. You can enter this. So if you have a questions, please don't hesitate to call us, you know, 800, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. When you put this in the article, always put the information somewhere if that makes sense so you can put more you can put like full address or you can put one of the your you know the model the media have the and the image if you said yes this your writing ai generates image for you and the image quality is quite high so you can choose number of images you can set three four 
right? The style you can set as well, just like other any other image generation AI. And you can set this YouTube video, right? If you set yes, number of video, it's based on your keyword and the contents, it find relevant YouTube video and embed it in here. It always, it doesn't always work, but uh, it works 75% of the time. So you can always put in there and you can delete it if that doesn't make sense. In SEO, you can include other keywords. So if you have a clustered keyword with the main keyword, this is a great place to put it. Or you can just click this and generate the keywords for you. Here, right? And you can choose a structure if you want the article to uh, include a conclusion. And if some data involves, you want to use table. If you turn off, you just uh, spit as a text. But if you choose table, it organizes a little nice table. And uh, for heading, if you want to include up to uh, H3, if you said no, everything is H2. And then same thing with the table. If makes sense, some data shows as a list. And for a text decoration, use let the system use italic, quotes, and bold. Right? These are always good to say yes. And the key takeaways is short summary list before going to the main content. If you want to include that, you can choose yes. And FAQ, if you say yes, the app generate some FAQ and put it on the bottom. It depends on your contents. You can say yes or no, right? I just keep it yes for this time. And the next one is connect to the web. When you said yes, the system search actual web and some pull the quotes and some data in and use it to create the, the content. And uh, when you said yes for source links, it adds uh, little source uh, links at the bottom of the article. You can choose search source as real time or news source or URL preference. You can put your own URL if you have a reference to use. You can do that too. So now, outline editor. So what you need to do is just to click this button to activate the outline editor. Make sure these are all blue. So if you're missing main keyword, it's a no. If you're missing title, it's a no, then it doesn't work well. So the main keyword is here, title is here, right? So you set the language and target country and so forth. If it's all blue, you're set. What you want to do is magic bag. When you click this, it creates headings up to 50. Click this. It took about a minute and it created nice headings for you. It actually is it's pretty good. The other article doesn't even talk about like health benefit of baked donuts and method, right? The frying and baking process and difference between fried and baked donuts and texture and flavor. I mean, from the headings, you can already see, you can already see this is talking about exactly what this keyword about, right? This is actually good. No. Oh, I forgot to mention one of the th the cool thing is after this you can edit, right? You can just enter your own keyword or you can flip it the order. Let's say tempting history. I don't need this tempting history up high, so I can just go down here. So the history goes down, right? I can right off the bat, I understanding um, donut variety. Maybe this one goes down too. You know, this is a good question, right? So it goes up. So like this, I can do that too. So after that, you can. What you want to do is you can do publication. You can set the website. Actually, there's a uh, WordPress plugin you can install and you can in sync. This your writing AI pulls the categories and uh, you can publish directly on your website. This is cool features too. I never do uh, direct publishing. I always go draft and edit it, but there's a feature too. And if you wanna use your personal OpenAI API key, you can use that too. 
that one of the great feature of SEO writing AI is if you generate a lot of contents and uh, exceeds monthly world limit, then you can let your own API key to use this tool. For example, so for my plan, I already paid for one year and every month I can generate the contents up to 500,000 words per month. And if I hit that limit, I cannot generate anymore. So the, there's two limits. So this limit is 348 articles I can generate per month. But within that range, I can use up to 500,000 words because it, uh, each article has certain words, right? So I cannot still exceed this count, 348, but if I want to use more words, I can use my own OpenAI API key to save my word count on SEO writing AI, this uh, word count. So if I want to use it, I can just click yes, and I, I just need to enter OpenAI API key in it. I don't need this now, so I said, so what you have to do is just to go in up and uh, run and it generates the keyword based on this. So now I just explained six unique tools. So now I show you how to import outlines into SEO writings outline editor. So first I need to clear this. So it's now it's empty, right? So for example, go back to this phrase even if this only has four, what I do is just to copy, right? select and copy, right? And this is SEO writing AI takes two formats from any spreadsheets. So what I do is just paste in here and uh, I just need to separate this H2. So currently, SEO writing AI takes two methods. The one is, there's two rows and one contains actual headings and the other one is indicating which heading level it's, it is. So H2, 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 H3, right? What you need to do is to select this range and the copy and come back here and just add one heading and it's empty. Even if it's H1, you don't have to worry about it. Then you just copy here, paste. I mean. So it just follows what you specified. H3 is the last one is H3, right? So it's H3. You know, still you can you can if you want you can change the order as well. So this is one way. The other way, it's formatted like this. Just uh, you don't need to put H. Just two 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 three like this, and select the range and copy. In the same way, add one heading and paste. Same way this works. So this is how to import outline into SEO writing AI and generate. So this is how you import outlines you generated outside into SEO writing's outline editor. But I liked it, the SEO writing AI generated the outlines so much, so I'm gonna just clear it and uh, regenerate it and uh, generate a blog post. So I just clear this and uh, let them create. Here you go. It said a history, I don't need a history. So it's slightly different, but I don't need a history. So I want to move this in the down here. So I change the order. All right. So this is it. So I just need hit run and generate the article. And it goes to the builder and you can see the progress. So status 7%, 11%. So it takes about a minute or so. It's really fast. Okay, now it's completed. Okay, let's take a look. Just so you can click this and see what actual article is. So when you click this, you can say show matter. Wow, it's 5,000 words. That's a lot of word. This is the title. This is the meta description, right? And the picture. This is really nice looking AI image. Here, to your takeaway. See, so a donuts are fried and baked. Two ways, baked donuts and fried donuts. There's a YouTube video existed, embedded for you already within th in one minute, right? That's pretty cool. And there's some quotes. So it's following the 
outlines I generated and some images because I put three so it adds three images this one is a bit weird but it's okay so because I turned a uh, list and a table on if the content makes sense they put the table like this it's really nice right so what I like about it's over here it shows image and it shows prompt and when you click this you can edit the prompt for example like this kiwi is kind of weird the topping with fresh fruit uh, i'll take away okay i just take away and i edit it and i can regenerate it each regeneration costs a hundred words and regenerate because this one is so weird it doesn't make sense, right? The Q is the avocado, no. This one is okay. The cranberries and some berries outside. Yeah, this is much better. The, the hands are a little weird, but it's okay. So down here, because I turn Q&A on, it's just put common ask questions and answers. And you can always edit, right? And because I turn on the source from web, it has some outbound link. So that's it. What you want to do is hit the publish, right? Then choose the website you are connecting and uh, choose the category. And uh, you can add a tag, you can add a keyword here, and a status draft and publish. So it's not publishing, it. Uh, you can change the status. If you set the publish status, it goes to publish right away. WordPress backend, here you go. Is a draft and you can see it you can just convert into the block you see the preview boom this is the preview 5000 word in one minute so this is it how, how did you like it comparing uh, the on-page SEO tools I hope you find something beneficial to use and SEO writing AI is a really nice tool it's an outline editor so I hope you learned something and uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to subscribe my emails by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.